Trevor Lawrence, man, contract. What about it? He got paid crazy, and I just, I just, I just want to go to this man. In in three years, a little under twelve thousand yards, mm -hmm. fifty eight touchdowns, thirty nine interceptions. Played fifty games, in fifty games, thirteen, three hundred yards games. I got some better numbers for you for that. 30, hold on, 30, 33 fumbles, ninety four sacks. Turnover. Right, right. I mean, I, I never like to bash guys. He's not that good though. I never like to bash guys. I always like to when guys get paid. I'm the first for it. But we're going to talk about deserving. I feel like this contract has been benefited by him. Being in a position where they know they ain't can't do nothing else. They drafted him in the first round. His record, overall career record, 20 and 30. Right. I got another stat here. As far as playoffs, he's only won how many games? One. Woo, like one and four, and they was one down, and three? And they was down 30 when he won that game. <laughs> and I was no, he not. But listen, I've been saying this about Trevor Lawrence. He's the type of player, right, and we've seen him all the time, mm -hmm. where a dude is um, – been surrounded by all this talent in high school, all this talent in college. He went to Clemson. Mm -hmm. Everybody was Big good. Time. Backups. He was a baller at Clemson. Man, we think he came, that. We he think, came into Clemson and started no, as no, a no, freshman. No, 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 no. He was hyped up. We, we he think was. that because he's around all these great players. Tebow was the same. We thought Tebow was nice. Did you not? I thought Tebow was crazy. Mm -hmm. All them great players around you. Matt Liner. I, he, you know, I'm cool with Matt, so I ain't going to get crazy. But, but we thought he was like the... The, oh my God! College careers is crazy. Though. All I'm saying is, now that you're an elite level, let's see it. I don't, Different. I don't see what makes Trevor Lawrence so good. I've been calling him overrated for so long, and the thing is, it's like when he came out, they say he's gonna be the, the top, the biggest, smartest, best prospect since Peyton Manning, since um, Andrew Luck. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. I don't see nothing that makes him special. He, he's athletic enough. He can throw the ball well enough. He's just okay. What the why? So and the last thing about these contracts, I hate. Because I love that they're getting money now. Yeah. But I hate that the only position that it doesn't matter is the quarterbacks. Dudes be trash, right? And then they have one solid year, and they get paid, get paid. because the market's so high. For sure. Where it should be, yo, the Joe Barrows, the Patrick Mahomes, the Josh Allen, the Lamar, they should get paid up there because they Perfect. are that good. Right. It should be Why the category. hell is Trevor Lawrence getting $55 million a year <laughs> like Joe Barrow? How is that possible? Exactly. And that, and oh, wait, wait, last thing. And you got running backs, right? That can't get paid and they lead the league in rushing. They'd be really good. For sure. Like, like Jacobs, like Saquon. Yep. The Giants decided to pay Daniel Jones, who's been trash, and he went to Duke. He couldn't even play Saquon. I said Duke because I don't know any good football players from Duke. And couldn't even play but he been Saquon. trash. You pay him. Baker Mayfield. Yeah. Been on all these different teams. Ain't been that good. Quarterbacks. He has a decent year. His team goes eight, nine and eight. They ain't even that good. Nah. It's you pay him $100 million. And <laughs> they beat our Eagles. But look, the thing is. Why is that when, if a running back is just good, he's not great? Yeah. You want to pay him the bare minimum. You get yeah. what I'm saying? I feel Wide like, receivers the same way. I, I feel like the quarterbacks, they're in a different era right now, and the salary caps is going up. So it's almost forcing these guys to get paid because the teams have to spend the money. And that's the good thing about the CBA. You know, the NFLPA does a great job of making these teams spend this money. And sometimes guys like a Trevor Lawrence, you know, he's subject, he's subject, Udo, Jack. He's subject to get the big deals. Not cool, I'm man. not saying he's – um, deserving of it because, like I said, I've never hated on somebody getting paid and never hated on somebody, you know, being able to take care of their families. But as far as what we've seen, the numbers, I, I spoke on the numbers, it's not deserving. I want to touch on this, though. Since he's since he has got the contract 55 and he's in the, uh, in the vicinities of a guy like Joe Burrow, right, making 55 a year. Um, Joe, Joe, Joe Burrow actually took his team to a Super Bowl, didn't win. They lost to the Rams. Um, but – it's a different playing field. I feel like if you're looking at the caliber of a of a of a Joe Burrow compared to a Trevor Lawrence, it's not the same. And I want to touch on specifically two other quarterbacks that's due for contracts as well. Brock Purdy has a record of 24 and 7, including career and playoffs. Uh -huh. Then you have Tua. Tua's 32 and 19. These two guys are up for deals. So you have a Trevor Lawrence who's only been in the league three third, three years, and he's yeah. going on his fourth year. They could have waited to do that. They could have waited for that. Right. So now looking into this year, two is up for a contract. Brock, yeah. Brock Purdy's up for a contract. Do you see them guys going to the 60, 60 you know a year crazy, mark? Bro? You know what? I got to be honest. Um, I could make an argument for Brock Purdy to get paid at a certain a good number, right? I don't. I I personally don't think he should get paid. You know, like number one, mm -hmm. six, you know what I'm saying? Because I just, I, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in, like, I like to pay dudes that that earn it, right? Like, I look at 
Patrick Mahomes, bro, he's that good. He he's should be the it. highest paid. Burrow, <clears throat> another one. But Tua, he's a tricky one because um, before McDaniels and Tyreek and all these other guys, yeah, the statistics wilder, ain't really been there either. I mean, he was fighting for a job. The past few years it has been, right? Though. Yeah. And I think that once he did start playing, he started getting hurt a lot, mm -hmm. right? That's another an investment that can't – You concussions. You can't play. It's like, do we – but, but, but I will say this. He does win games for them, and he's a good quarterback. But I have to speak on this too, because concussions. I don't feel like that's an injury where like that, like that's injury prone. Like I think that's how not because that was like freak accidents. I mean, you, you know, got multiple he, ones though, Jack. But I understand that. But you seen those injuries, and that was like that was brutal, bro. Like them hits he took and him hitting his head on the ground. Like that's not like nah. him keep pulling a hamstring or his arm keep coming out of play. Like that's bro, that's a different type of injury though, bro. You you got to kind of be like. You got to be cautious on talking about that, you know, because safety and injuries is as far as health. You know, your head your head is different than I'm saying like a knee or but but your head an is ankle. More, is, is something that you, you no, can't but replace. I'm saying that's that's not like an injury that I'm gonna say that's injury prone. Like your your, your your you know like your muscles or it's a different injury. There's, I'm saying there's, there's dudes that like retired because they get no, too many hits to the head. Definitely, he's, you know he's one saying? or two injuries away or one or two concussions away from having a career ending. So I think that plays a big part in Miami Dolphins negotiations with him as right. well too. He's good though. So like I, he's in a tricky situation. I would pay him. I just don't know like how much of that. But mm -hmm. when you look at a guy like Trevor Lawrence getting paid, you yeah. damn right, Tua should get a big deal. Sure. You know what I'm saying? He's no, a lot sure, better. 100%. And I don't. And another thing with with Tre Trevor, I don't even see like the, the, the true talent. Yeah. Like where the like where is it at? But our but our our boy uh Doug is Doug Peterson your boy is it safe to say? He Doug? is my boy. So Doug Doug Peterson's over there and I'm sure he had hell of a coach. He, hell of a coach. I'm sure he lobbied to kind of make that deal happen too. I don't know if he wanted it yeah. to be that much, but at the end of the day, I would love to hear from Doug Peterson because we both got a relationship. Maybe we could call him and maybe we could get get him to call in on the show and talk about that. No, nah, we could. We could ask him that. You know what I mean? I guess if I'm cool with Doug, so I can't get too crazy with, with yeah, Trevor. Yeah, you gotta be respectful. But but he know he's not that good. Hey, you look, know who's not that good though. You know, you know. Let's go.